guys! Today's video is guinea pigs versus capybaras. Our favorite pet potatoes are closely related to the largest rodent in the world, the capybara. While these two animals are very different in a lot of regards, they are also surprisingly similar, even at a first glance. So let's take a look into the differences and similarities between these two fascinating animals. Size and appearance Probably the most obvious difference is their size. As the world's largest living rodent, capybaras are way bigger than guinea pigs. A capybara reaches a length of 1.1 to 1.3 meters or 3.5 to 4.25 feet and weighs between 35 and 66 kilograms, so between 77 and 145 pounds. A guinea pig, on the other hand, reaches a size of 20 to 25 centimeters, which is 7.8 inches, and a weight of about 800 gram to 1.3 kilograms, which is between 1.8 and 3 pounds. Perhaps an interesting fact, when it comes to our pet guinea pigs, males are usually heavier and bigger than females. It's the other way around in the capybara world though, where females are usually heavier than males, albeit slightly. Capybaras enjoy the water, whereas pet guinea pigs can swim to survive, but they'd never do it voluntarily and fight for their life when put into deep water. A capybara's feet are also partially webbed and they can hold their breath underwater for up to 5 minutes. While their size is very much different, the body of capybaras and guinea pigs looks very similar. They're both kind of barrel shaped and they have a short head. Food. Interesting but also slightly disgusting fun fact. Both capybaras and guinea pigs eat their own poop as a way of keeping their gut healthy. Like guinea pigs, their teeth also wear down and hence grow continually because of the amount of grass that they eat. Guinea pigs and capybaras are also both unable to produce vitamin C on their own. Behavior Both capybaras and guinea pigs prefer to live in groups. Guinea pigs usually live in groups of one male and several females and they're young, while capybaras live in mixed groups with more than one adult male. Capybaras have two types of scent glands, whereas guinea pigs have one. Capybaras use both of them to scent mark. Both guinea pigs and capybaras drag their behind on the floor or fleece liner to scent mark the spot. In the wild, guinea pigs and capybaras are most active during dawn and dusk. It is important to note though that our domestic guinea pigs have lost this preference and rather adapt to the routine of their owner. Capybaras also spend a big time of their day in the water. They're even able to sleep underwater with only their nose sticking out, whereas our guinea pigs stay away from swimming. Some not so scientific information but more personal experience. I had the opportunity to feed and pet a capybara last year and so I got really close to it. The fur really feels super different to our pet guinea pigs. It's very coarse and really not that soft, but their cheekiness and their way of chewing and looking around them was so so similar to my guinea pigs. They're also less fearful, or at least they appear so, and I think it's probably due to their large size. I was also told that they were very curious, but also very stubborn, which sounds like a group of furry potatoes I know very well. <laughs> These were a few interesting things about guinea pigs and capybaras. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time! Bye! <laughs>